In this lesson, we're going to be talking about columns in InDesign, and we're going to be using columns to make a basic uh, newspaper mock-up. So why don't you go ahead and Google something like newspaper layout? That's where that's how I came across this image that you can see here. So we see it's a it's a in just a kind of a generic um, LA Times issue. I in, in the you know the issue no, has no significance. But we do want to look at some of the, the design elements here. So we see a nice big headline, right? Uh, a little bit of text here. If we were able to zoom in, which we're not, but um, it would, I believe that's the date and I believe that's the price or something like that. And then we have a, a line down there just to kind of separate the headline from the content. And then we have columns. So you'll notice uh, this whole page is one, two, three, four, five, five columns, right? So here's one. Here's one. This one's a little thicker than the other ones, but this one and this one. So uh, numbers, columns number one, two, four, five are actually the same width. They just made one little center column a little thicker, which is a little fancier than we're going to get, actually. So here's what we're going to do in today's lesson. We're going to do something like this. Okay, so a little simpler. We have three columns, but it looks quite a bit like a basic newspaper, doesn't it? So go up to file or you know, whenever your uh, when whenever your InDesign app opens, it'll give you the choice of making uh, you know loading a document or opening a new one. So we are going to open, or sorry, we're going to make a new one, new document. So that's file, new, and then document. <clears throat> and we're going to stick with custom, and we're going to say uh, change it off of picas. Uh, picas is a unit of measurement used in the print industry. Uh, typically, people talk about inches in the print world. Uh, in digital publications, people tend to talk about pixels a lot more frequently. And in Europe, we talk about uh, centimeters and millimeters more often. Uh, but in America, it's, it's mainly inches. So let's just change it back to inches because that's where we are. And then eight and a half by 11 is a sheet of notebook paper. That's the size of paper that's going to come out of your printer. So let's just stick with that because we, you could theoretically print this out and add it to a, a physical portfolio if you have one. Uh, actually, let's just go one page. So mine says two by default. Let's go with one. And then you'll notice here down down here it has a column section, and you can you can change however many columns you want. Let's stick with three. Mine had three. Um, you could choose four if you wanted to. Two would not look like a newspaper. And then the column gutter. So uh, a column gutter <clears throat> is the space between the columns. I have it set here at an eighth of an inch, but I'll I'll show you what. It's about an eighth of an inch and then margins so we already talked about bleed in uh illustrator right well margins are uh how much we how much uh like we want a little uh, it'll say it'll give us a little invisible box inside the paper and now um this might be useful if we have a desktop computer which many of us do and at the campus we do we also have more professional printers as well that you can uh, toy with when we get back on campus but um, oh, but the, the box is uh, very typical of a very uh, like kind of consumer level printers. They don't print to the edge. There's always a little bit of a, a margin around the edges of the paper. Typically, it's a quarter of an inch. So we're just going to stick with a quarter of an inch so we could print this out on notebook paper. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, on typical printer paper if we wanted to. All right. I think we're all set. Yeah, yeah that's good. Oh, wait a minute. This is not. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, top. No, that's not right. That's weird. I don't know why they're different. Let's. Oh, let's click this little link button. That way, it'll make everything the right. Everything. Everything the same. Okay, everything look, looks good. All right. So here we are. We have three columns, and then we have a little eighth of an inch gutter between the columns, but not between the row and the margin. So you notice the margin here, right, all the way around. And incidentally, um, this red line out here is a bleed, although uh, it didn't show it on our document at the time, but you can also set the bleed in, uh, in InDesign just the same way you did with Illustrator. So anyway, let's, let's begin with putting some text on the page. Or you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's do text. Let's make a headline. Sometimes I just do it someplace random. And then mine had a picture of robots, so I like I said robot over lord over over lords. Why am I daily? There we go. I'm going to highlight all those because that's really tiny print. <clears throat> so let's make it way bigger. 